Whoa, whoa, calm down. It's okay now. Really, I said as I held her in my arms. John, he, he... She continued, though she was still sobbing, so it was somewhat hard to understand. He's... He's fucking crazy! No more words came after that. She just kept on sobbing. Look, Marcy, he's gone. He left. I don't think he'd come back just to do this. I... I almost immediately regretted saying this, as it did not seem to have the intended effect. Marcy did not seem to be calming down. From then on, I kept quiet, just holding on to her, hoping she would calm down. It took at least half an hour more of sobbing, but she eventually did. Look, look, I'm sorry for calling you over. She finally said, adding, But I just don't know what to do anymore. Even though I try and try and try, I can never get away. He always finds me. She said this in reference to her ex-boyfriend, Jason, who she believes is stalking her. It's okay now. I'm here. I'm not the best around, but I can at least offer you some peace of mind. I didn't want her to start sobbing again, so I aimed not to repeat my earlier mistake. After I said what I said, I saw a small smile appear on her face, though it did not last for very long nor did it convey a true meaning of solace or relief. After the moment had passed, she began speaking again. I can't take it anymore. I, I just can't. First with the text messages, then with the calls in the middle of the night, then the letters, and then this. She pulled something out of her pocket and showed it to me. It looks like... A camera? I asked. I think so. I think I can see a lens. I... It seemed to me that she wanted to continue speaking. But instead... Her gaze lingered on the small black device, and she began tearing up again. It's okay. Don't worry. You just rest up, and we'll take it to the police tomorrow. I said, once again putting my arms lightly around her. She reciprocated the gesture. In that moment, all I could think was such a shame that I have to get a new one already.